Emotions were running really high at the end of the fourth episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. When that shield was covered in blood, the internet let everybody, especially Wyatt Russell, be known how they felt. Now, Marvel Studios director talks about why they decided to make the shield as bloody as they did. Before we get into this, as a Captain America fanboy, I want to put this out there. If you think that Captain America, aka Steve Rogers, never got blood on his shield, you're being naive. He did. We just never saw it. This is the same type of outrage that people had when US agent John Walker was using guns as US agent, aka Captain America. They were like, oh my god, Steve doesn't do that. He literally does it multiple times. He was a soldier. It's in the movies. It's literally there. But yes, I get it. You know, I was in shock as well. You see US agent, you see that shield, you see how it's covered. You see what happened, you see how shocking that scene was. Yeah, it was a little interesting. Well, when it came to the series, recently Carrie Scoglin talked to the Toronto Sun, and she was asked about the blood covered shield and that shocking moment, and how people were talking about it, and how there was so much anger, and you know, the buzz around it was very much, uh, oh my god, why did Marvel do this? And she says that she wanted that scene to be horrific, to be provocative, to be shocking. They couldn't just say this is, you know, somebody getting hurt. This had to be something else. This had to be a little bit more iconic. This had to be the scene that when you think of who is this character, who is John Walker, that this is the scene that's going to be in your head. And quite clearly, what she's saying there is that this is the scene that any time from now on, when you think of this character, even if there's some redemption to him, you're going to go to that moment where he offs a dude begging for his life. That's what it's about. It's about creating that shocking moment. So the reason they decided to put the blood in there and that much of it and do that moment particularly is because they want you to know what this version of Captain America stood for and what John Walker is willing to do in front of people. And then she says that the whole idea was we need to rip apart the legacy of the shield with that scene. So they decided right then and there, put blood on it, do this. It'll get people talking about it and people talking about the importance of the shield never having blood on it before. Again, we just never saw it. Captain America was a soldier. So you know it happened. I mean, look at all the bullet marks that used to be on it before. So that's something that I think intentionally they did it, they did it well, and it's still part of the conversation. So they did their job very well. <laughs> 